Okay guys, next time you plan on going on a cruise, you've got a few options. You can either go the moderate to upper level pricing, which would get you on the Celebrity Summit. Nicely remodeled ship. About 2,800 passengers. Or you could go with the mega ship, the Norwegian Escape, which was also moderate pricing. But if you really want to save a little bit of money, you may want to go with the Edward Stowe Tug Rescue. Oh yeah, she'll get you there. And get you there on time with for an eighth of the price. Look at that beautiful, beautiful cruise liner. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday, May 29th, 8 a.m. and we finally made it to Bermuda. It's a beautiful morning and there's some cloudy skies but it is perfect temperature. There's an awesome breeze. It's probably about 73, 74 degrees um, and it's early. I think that cl the clouds are going to clear up and it's going to be an awesome day. I'm not sure what we're going to get into trying to decide whether me if me and Brenda are gonna go kayaking or mountain biking or if we're all gonna go to the beach I know one day we're all gonna go to the beach horseshoe beach probably um, so right now the plans are up in the air I'm gonna go back down to the room and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do in the meantime check out these views of Bermuda I know there's, there's a glare over there, but the island, the tip of the island goes way on the other side of that. That glare is on the ocean and wraps around. I don't know all the details of the island, but I know that there's approximately 71,000 citizens on the island. Of course, that population is going to jump up in the next couple days. Not only are we here, but the region Escape is here and they hold, they have probably around 5,000, 6,000 passengers. Not sure, I know it's a big ship. Okay, this is where we're docked. This is the Naval Dockyard. This is where you can rent bicycles, mopeds. You're not allowed to drive on the island. on the left hand side of the road here so if you're not used to that you need to be very careful renting a moped well we just got off the ship and it is really turned out beautiful the clouds are gone look how blue the water is it's amazing how blue that water is there's Aiden We're gonna head down this way and try to find a shuttle bus to take us to Hoosh. We decided to get a Horseshoe Beach today. It's one of the most famous beaches here on Bermuda, but it's also one of the most populated. But we've been there before and it's an awesome beach. They've got facilities there, so I think that's where we're gonna head. Right there is the Norwegian Escape. Pretty cool ship. We thought about going on that, but it was only a it was a shorter cruise. You were only in Bermuda for a couple days. And there's our ship. Celebrity Summer. Down here, there's shuttles that'll take you to different places on the island. I was told that to get to Horseshoe Beach, it would be 
probably eight, seven dollars a person or four of us, so twenty-eight dollars one way. You can also take a taxi or these buses here, I guess. So we're gonna go down here and see what the what the best bet is for us. I'm guessing it's gonna be one of these little small minivans. So let's go see how we're gonna get the horseshoe bit. We made it here alive. You saw how windy the roads were and narrow. But the guy was a pretty good driver. So we made it. This is the entrance. The Should I get my hair braided?
So behind us are the uh, famous cliffs of Horseshoe Beach. If you want to know why they call it Horseshoe Beach, it's because it's it's shaped in the shape of a horseshoe. Over here is one part of the horseshoe, and it wraps around to those rocks over there, and it forms a, a U shape. Anyway, you can see the people climbing up there. They're not really supposed to go up there. There's a sign right there. It says don't go past that point. Okay. But everybody's doing it. And you can see they've been doing it for a long time in the past. They're definitely there climbing up. We, last time we were here two years ago, we went to the top. This time we've got to go and we'll show you when we get up there. Ready? You ready to go up? If you come here, this is a, actually a pretty, really easy climb, guys. It's like your steps built into it, cut into it. And over here, it's a pretty cool little cove you can explore. And the water, water isn't isn't too bad at all. It's pretty warm actually. All right, let's go back on up to the top. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. All kinds of places to explore. Which places with you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't. I have to go. We need to get up there.
Right, can you see this view, guys? I present you for Shoe Beach. <laughs> You can definitely see the horseshoe now. It goes all the way around. And over this way. Wish I had a drone right now. We went out to that rock there. I don't know if the crab, there were some crabs down there on the rock. I think they're still there. Pretty cool place to if you want to go snorkeling. We saw quite a few fish. And then over here they have restrooms, changing area, snack bar. So the place is really a crowded beach. It definitely has a lot of amenities. You can get rent umbrellas and chairs. Some of the other beaches may be more private, but they don't have, some of them don't have restrooms or such and stuff. And then if you also, you like to explore, over there on the other side of that rock formation, there's a couple more beaches you can walk up to and probably a little bit more secluded. So if you want privacy, all you gotta do is walk, walk down the beach a little bit. Okay, this is the cove. Kind of like the kiddie pool of Horseshoe Beach. Really calm water. Little neat places, nooks and crannies to explore. And the water is a little chilly. <laughs> Again, I thought it was, we were used to it, now we've been out for a while. We were here a couple years ago. Brennan got creeped out from these, I don't know what they are, like bugs or fossilized bugs. I'll, if I find one, I'll show you. I'm sure they won't be too hard to find. Here's a little interesting fact. There are no snakes on the island of Bermuda. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Oh, can you guys see that fish? It's a big fish. Like a bluish green fish. Look at all these marks on the side of the rocks. Yeah, Ryan got a bunch of them. Yeah, I got them zooming up. Yeah. I made it back in the deeper part of the cove. 
I don't know too many people were at. Actually, I don't see anybody right now. Everybody's back there. Even Brendan. There's a dead fish out here. Well, that's not a fish, that's a jellyfish. Let's see if I can get close to it. Some type of jellyfish. That's about as close as I'm going to get, because they probably got really long tentacles that I can't see. All right, that was, well, look at this, I gotta show you this crap. All right, well, that was, that was our tour of the cove here at Horseshoe Beach. Once I saw those jellyfish back there, as far as I was gonna go. Plus I had my cell phone with me. I forgot the charger for the GoPro. So if I would have got this phone wet, that would have been it. So I think it did pretty good. Kept it dry and made it out alive.